What is going on YouTube? Another review for y'all. Today we have the Timpano T2500 series subs. This is their 1250 watt lineup. Actually they look surprisingly cool so let's check these things out. Smoking y'all. Y'all I have to give a massive shout out to my man Big Jeff over at Big Jeff Audio and the guys over at Timpano for sending me these subs to review for y'all. They're not paying me to do this. Big Jeff is just trying to get some stuff in my hands just so we can get his website's name out there. So y'all, obviously there will be a link in the description below to where you can grab these guys over on Big Jeff Audio. Now guys, I know you hate it when you're watching the video and a sponsor comes up, they're talking about some iPhone game or Simply Safe or becoming a lord in Scotland or something. Now I've got some offers like that in the past not what I really wanted to do. So when the guys over at Alfred Audio Group reached out, I was super stoked at the opportunity to work with them. Now specifically, I've done a ton of stuff with Death Bonds. So that's what I have the most experience with. So a couple things I absolutely love about them. One, not cookie cutter whatsoever. Most of their stuff has custom tooled baskets, has its own unique look, not just off the shelf stuff from China. Two, they have absolutely awesome coils, even on some of their more lower end budget stuff. Third, they make some of the most just awesome and windy, big beefy builds out there. I love that they put their money where their mouth is and they do some absolutely awesome stuff in the car audio space. Check out links to Alpha Audio in the description below. Now let's get back to the video, y'all. First off, we do got kind of a cool box. Not that that really matters. And then the actual box, they come in cool green looking box. The package pretty nicely. We got two boxes protecting it, plus extra cardboard around the subs. Y'all know I've heard just a couple subs that literally just came in one box. That is just not enough really for any sub in my opinion, especially not a big sub. Of course, get our warranty card. These are warrantied for one year. We are over on Big Jeff Audio. These things retail for $204.95 at the time of me filming this video. Of course, we need a four layer, three inch voice coil. It is an American made voice coil. I do believe it is copper clad aluminum with the high temp black glue on it. VFS is 39 Hertz. X Max is 23.5 millimeters. BL 10.82. There's our recommended box specs. This thing does have a mounting depth of 7.24 inches and it weighs 34 pounds. Let's get y'all a close look up at these guys. We have a mega roll surround up top with stitching. Very stiff dust cap. Of course, the logo up there. Extremely stiff uh, paper cone as well. We have a nice rubber gasket. All right, what I really like, we do have a more custom tooled basket. I've actually really not seen this basket on much else, if anything. It is a cast aluminum basket. I really love, we have nice, big, thick terminals on this thing, guys. Here's some pretty thick 10 gauge wire. Y'all, it fits in there absolutely no problem. You could probably wind this up, get two strands of that in there pretty easily. As you can see there, very awesome. I'm sure a lot of y'all know what a big pet peeve of mine when you have a nice woofer and then it has these little teeny terminals, you can barely fit a nice piece of 12 gauge wire into it. Let alone too, if you're trying to run this thing in parallel. Moving along down to here, we have our tinsel leads. Now this actually is a decently thick tinsel lead, but in my opinion for a $200 sub, I would love to see this guy doubled up. But of course we'll put it through the test, see how it does. I doubt it'll tear or anything, but just personal preference. Moving along to here, you can see that nice, black coated coil, nice high temp coil. And then down here, we got a pretty nice and beefy motor. This thing has some oomph to it for sure. I believe we have a double stack magnet with a decent sized top and a pretty big bottom plate as well. And we of course have our pole venting and center venting as well. Y'all, you didn't click on this video to hear me talk about a sub you clicked on it to see these things in action and see what they can really take. That's exactly what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna throw it in the car. We're, of course, gonna see how they sound, to see how much they move. Then we're gonna put these 
on the DV meter, see how loud we can get them. And finally, y'all, we're gonna take one of these, we're gonna put it on a test home RMS test. Just gonna keep it just below the RMS rating on this guy. We're gonna hook it up for at least three minutes to see if it can make it through. I've done this to a couple other subs. Some have made it through, some have died. Let's see how this guy does. We've had these Def Bonds machete subs in here, the Flight S's. This has been a great little budget setup. Definitely takes more power than it looks like it would take. But look at the size difference in the two. Excited to be hooking up these big old beefy guys. It turns out these subs have a little bit bigger diameter than your standard sub. Most subs I can fit in, this, in these scar boxes, no problem. This one just barely doesn't fit. So I just gotta shave down the edge a little bit with a razor knife and that'll let this guy sit right in there. All right, now that these things are hooked up, I'm gonna let these play for a while, let those spiders break in, then we'll get to testing them out. y'all next time for the db test we're gonna see how loud we can get these things at 35 40 and 45 hertz let's see what these can do we've got my smd amm1 set up we've got the speakers facing the back of course got the driver's side window open and the meter down in the cake all like we normally do i've got this base pan to base knob over here that showtime electronics has sent me a while back this thing has been flawless. So of course, using this guy, let's get it. All right, y'all, 35 Hertz. Let's see what she can do. 4,710 watts. Able to get up to a 142.1. All right, y'all, 40 Hertz. 4,145 watt. And we got a 145.5. All right, y'all, 45 hertz. Ohm's really going high there, so we clipped pretty early. We were only able to dyno 3,726 watts. Now, we did get more because this guy stops when it gets to clipping. 
but almost a 147. We got a 146.7. Not a bad score. Now, of course, there are things we could do to increase this guy. One, this box is a little on the small side. Having a bigger box can allow you to get a higher decibel reading on the same power. This box is at most, I think, two cubic feet per sub. If we could get up to like 2.5, maybe even a little above that. Again, probably could do better on the meter. Next up, time for a extreme RMS test on this fella. Now, when most companies rate their subs for RMS, that means musically. And when you're playing music, it's not a constant nonstop bass. It's on, it's off, frequencies are changing. All that stuff really helps these guys cool down. When you're putting a non-stop test tone through a sub, y'all, that is absolutely brutal. 40 hertz is kind of the standard for doing this, so we're going to do a 40 hertz test tone for three minutes on this guy, see if it'll make it through. Now, this guy is rated at 1,250 watts, so we're going to turn it up. We're going to be able to monitor it here. I've got a bass knob here, so I can adjust it on the fly. We're going to keep it close to that as we can probably just barely under. Just to be fair, so nobody can say we overpowered this guy. Let's see what it does. All right, we have this guy set to real time power. Now this guy may uh, turn off before we get all the way through. If it does, we'll just set the bass knob down and not adjust anything from there, but hopefully it'll make it through. Okay, we've got our timer. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to 40 Hertz. See, we can start turning it up. All right, let's start this. All right, bass knob is super, super touchy, but there it is. All right, you can see the ohms are rising, so we're losing uh, power pretty quick. Trying to bump it up a tad. There we go. 30 seconds. cool off we're gonna go to the 20 Hertz Whoo! pew hey y'all it got hot as can be but it is still going it does not appear to be actually blown y'all if you're really pushing your subs if you get them really really hot start to smell it if you instantly turn it off uh, what that can do, that can actually can kind of trap all the heat around the coil, which can cause coil failure. What you really want to do is turn it down real low and play something at a really low frequency. The low frequency moves a lot without really having a lot of actual power going to it. Reducing the power cuts down on the heat and having it moving more helps just push that air over that coil. It helps it cool down. All right, let's chat about what happened there. First of all, in the past, I've normally done musical RMS tests, which are I'll play a full song keep it around this RMS power as close as I can. Honestly, over the last, you know, two or three years of me doing that, I've only ever had one or two subs actually fail from that. So what that tells me, it's not really a very useful test to y'all. Now, doing it like this is way, way more brutal. Like, way more brutal, guys. Something being able to take above a thousand watts nonstop at 40 hertz for any amount of time is pretty crazy. That being said, when a company is listing their RMS power on the website, generally speaking, they're not assuming somebody's gonna throw that much power in a non-stop test tone to it. So guys, my opinion, I mean, it made it through the three minutes without blowing. It did get smoky, but I pulled it out. I tested the coils. Most coils were still sitting right at about 3.5, 3.6, which is dead on for what my multi-reader always seems to read for ohm coils. So coils didn't blow. I pulled them up, looked around them, didn't see any place where the wire had actually come loose. So I guess some glue just got really, really hot and started smoking. Of course, that being said, I can't say the sub is 100% fine. 
I wouldn't feel you know good about reselling it to, to somebody. But technically it does work. I'm gonna leave it in here as my daily system uh, until I review the next sub. And I think it'll probably be fine. So again, point being, extremely, extremely tough test on these guys. I think I'm gonna do that more. Guys, we're gonna see a lot of subs blow. We're gonna see some nice brands that y'all respect. We're probably gonna see some of their subs get smoky as well. But I think it's gonna give y'all a better idea of what these subs can really take over a period of, of time. That being said, overall, these Tempano subs actually did really pretty well. Have loved having them in the car over the last week. They are a lot of fun. They do get nice and loud. Shake the car. Really great everyday setup. Build quality seems nice. They are decently tough. And they're not super extremely heavy. So if I do gotta pull my box out or something, not a huge deal. Also love, they have their own kind of unique look. Not as much of a cookie cutter sub as a lot of brands that we see making. And finally, I really like the real big terminals they have on them. That just makes my life so much easier. Only things I don't really like for a $200 sub only has one strand of tinsel lead running to the coil. Personally, I would love to see two. And obviously I would have loved to have seen it make it through that full three minutes and have absolutely no smoke there at, at the end. Regardless, Overall, the sub did do pretty good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Once again, got to give a huge shout out to Big Jeff over at Big Jeff Audio and Timpano for sending me these subs. A lot of fun testing them out. And I do have another sub from them that we're going to be reviewing here in a couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you want to check out this sub, check out the link in the description below. But remember, as always, keep basing on. Hey, this is Big Jeff coming to you from BigJeffAudio.com. Crazy low prices, super fast shipping, and every order gets a freebie. Check it out. Also, we got a YouTube page, Big Jeff Audio, and check us out on Facebook forward slash Big Jeff Audio. I want to give a shout out to my boy Parker the Basshead. Whenever I got downtime, I'm checking out his videos. He's blowing stuff up, he's doing reviews, tons of excitement. You can go to YouTube and search Parker the Basshead. Make sure you subscribe, like, and follow. He's also got a huge Facebook. It's Parker the Basshead Official. Make sure you check it out. We'll leave the links below.